Please subscribe to our channel to see the latest videos. Hello, this is Salvio, and in this video I will explain how to use the artificial neural network that I developed during my master's studies under the supervision of Dr. Sehan Gander. This network is able to predict the load capacity of adhesive anchors installed into cracked concrete, which is one of the main challenges regarding the assessment of adhesive anchors that remains nowadays. The network was trained and tested with over 100 experimental results obtained from a worldwide database. More details about the development of the network can be found in my thesis in chapter 6, page 68, which is entitled Modeling of Concrete Anchors Support Non-Structural Components Subject to Strong Wind and Adverse Environmental Conditions. I'll leave the link for the thesis in the description. More information can also be found in the paper that we are going to publish for engineering structures called A Methodology for the Analysis of Adhesive Anchors in Adverse Environments for Hurricane Resilience. The link will also be in the description once the paper is published. Here you'll find all the formulation and the details of how the network was developed, trained and tested, as well as the final configuration. Both the links for the thesis and the paper can also be found in Dr. Sehengander's website at the University of Toledo. So the way to use the network is actually pretty simple. You have to input five variables, which are the compressive strength of the concrete, the diameter of the anchor, the embedment depth of the anchor, the annular gap, which is the adhesive thickness, and the concrete crack width. Once you put the inputs, all the calculations in the neurons are performed automatically, and you can extract the final output from here, which is the anchor load capacity. One thing that must be um, observed when using the network is that the inputs have to be in the range specified for training. You can see the range here. The network is not good for extrapolation, which is a property of neural networks in general. So, if you want to use a uh, concrete compressive strength below 17.85, for example, or above 46.75, this network cannot be used. All the inputs have to be in the range specified here. But other than this, uh, the use of the network is actually pretty simple. As I said, it's just two steps. And in the example step, I provide some examples of what the load capacities are for some anchors. So this is it. I hope this video was helpful and you understand how to use the network. And I hope you can use it in the future. Thanks for watching.